Hi everybody, my name is Todd Brannon and I am the Accidental Excelist. This is video tutorial number four in the series of videos that I'm doing on creating your own custom CRUD style app or tool in Microsoft Excel, um, Access. I apologize, not Excel, Access. So what we're creating here is a customer database tool that we can enter in new customers, we can view current customers, edit those uh, records, or delete those. So it's a CRUD style app, create, read, update, and destroy. So we've got, in the last video, we imported our data. We've got this uh, fictitious or mock data that we actually downloaded from a site called mockroo.com that was in video one. So if you missed that, you wanna go check that out, be sure and do that. And then we created, in uh, video two, we created our table structure. So we created, if you wanna go, we wanna check out design view, we created all these fields that we're using. And then in the last video, video number three, we actually imported the data. So now we have a thousand rows of data to work with that we can look at existing customers. And uh, at this point, it's time to start creating some forms. So what we wanna do now is we wanna go to the Create tab. And in the Forms group here where is where we're gonna be working, we're just gonna click on Form Wizard. Now I'm in Excel 2016, so if yours looks a little different, just be sure and find the Create tab in the Forms group and look for the Form Wizard. So it may look a little different than, than mine, but I'm sure it'll be okay. Uh, back to like 2007 and before, I can't vouch for that, but in Excel, I mean, I'm sorry, Access 2010 or 2013 should be relatively the same. Uh, maybe a little cosmetically different, but uh, as far as being able to locate the form wizard, you shouldn't have any problem. So that's what you wanna find. So it's gonna come up, uh, give us the choice of tables and queries. If we had a bunch of tables, it would be in this drop down. We just have the one table, so that's easy enough for us. And this shows us our available fields and then selected fields. We're gonna create our customer, you know, new customer entry form. So we're gonna click that double arrow and bring all of our fields over because we wanna be able to um, see all of those fields and we wanna be able to enter data into those fields. So now I click next and we're gonna stick with columnar. Uh, there's different um, layouts you can use, uh, but we're gonna just stick with the default selection of columnar and I'll click next and uh, we can change our title for our form. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, put new customer. And then, um, yeah, we're just gonna stay with the uh, default. Uh, do you wanna open the form or modify the form's design? Uh, open the form to view and enter information. Yes, we'll leave that as is. We'll click on finish and here's our form. Um, so easy enough just to, we could go with this. It's not very cosmetically pleasing. It's not very, um, user friendly. We've got a lot of text boxes that are just entirely too big. They have scroll bars. We don't need that. I mean, for last name, we don't need more than just that little bit of space there. So we've got to fix all this. This is in our form view. So over here on the home tab, there's this views group on the far left, and you've got several different views to choose from. You've got your form view, which is, this is really the live form. I mean, we could actually use this. If I could change some of this data, I could tab through this, and it would actually change the data in the table for record ID number 4003, but that doesn't get me anywhere as far as, um, you know, creating a new record, and we'll get to that. But we uh, will also be going back into design view. And when we get to design view, you see all these this kind of grid looking stuff. This is where we get down to changing the design. And uh, now that we have it, you know, the basic foundation of our new customer form created, we need to do a lot of editing and a lot of layout and design work. And we'll do that in the next video. So there you have it. You've created your first form. Now it's time to get down to the nitty gritty and uh, make it look nice and work with uh, sort of the user experience aspect of things. So uh, good job on that. If you were uh, able to co um, create your first form and in the next video, we'll uh, work on uh, some of these design features and get to that. So I'll see you in the next video. Thanks everybody for watching. Please take a minute to like and subscribe and be sure to check us out at theaccidentalexcellus.com.
Thank you.